Mongols MC member jailed for attempted murder is continuing to communicate with people and post messages behind bars, even claiming he started a stripping agency while in jail. Robbie Karwa, sentenced to 14 years after he shot his ex-partner's boyfriend, has social media accounts, regularly posting club-related material, details about deaths of organized crime figures, and even his NRL tips. Karawa's partner has told authorities she is in control of the accounts, and she is posting for him after communicating with him, not circumventing any laws. A Queensland Corrective Services spokeswoman said there was no legal impediment to friends or family members posting on social media on behalf of a prisoner. But prison officers still had security concerns around the accounts and searched his cell. In 2011 Karawa hired a private investigator to help him follow his ex-girlfriend before he confronted the new boyfriend and shot him three times with one of the bullets hitting the shoulder. He was later found guilty in the Supreme Court, over the attempted murder, and was sentenced to 14 years behind bars. Then a Fink's bikey, he now regularly posts about Mongols and support for the black and white, also appearing to have Mongols tattooed across his upper back. A good friend of mine from jail sadly passed away the other day from a tragic motorbike accident, a post in Karwa's name said. We had some good rounds sparring in the yard and some good laughs, jail time flew when we lived in the same unit, you'll be sadly missed brother. Karawa, who is currently in Lotus Glen Jail near Cairns, also regularly posts about abracadabra strippers, boasting I've been in jail for the past 10 years and I started this stripping agency about 3 years ago from jail. We supply the hottest girls Australia wide, an Instagram post in his name said. So if you want to support me during my jail sentence, feel free to post this promo picture to all your social media pages as many times as you want, and ask everyone in your friends list to do the same and follow the company pages as well. Searches show the strip agency website is registered to Abracadabra National Entertainment, with the sole director and owner of the company a 32-year-old woman living on the Gold Coast. On October 25, 2000, when Melbourne Storm were playing Penrith Panthers, Karwa said he was backing the Victorian team to win. He was later asked if he watched the game to which he responded, Yeah mate watched the game first half was a bit slow but second half was action-packed. I think the highlight of the game was when the Panthers started coming back and Craig Bellamy in the coaching box going ballistic, hope you're well. Concerned about security implications with phones getting into jails, prison officers have again called for body scanners in jails. A Queensland Corrective Services spokeswoman said there was no legal impediment to friends or family members posting on social media on behalf of a prisoner. QCs is examining the potential use of body scanners within Queensland, she said. Mobile phones are a threat to the security of prisons and we take a zero-tolerance approach to them, she said. The problem is that mobile phones are getting smaller all the time. That makes them easier to hide in a body orifice. As inmates become smarter, we have to get smarter too. Body scanner is the way to go for future. Karawa denies any claims of possessing or smuggling a phone in prison, he is also upset that his cell has been searched repeatedly. Karawa will be eligible for parole in 2025.